Here is the 2021 Kia Telluride oil change. We've got about 2,600 miles on it. It's time for the engine oil change for the break-in period. Start off, we'll loosen the oil cap so we don't get a bit of a vapor lock there. All right, so the area in question that we're gonna be dealing with is right here. This is our oil pan. Underneath this plastic skid plate here is the oil filter element. And uh, it's uh, not like your common oil filter. You'll see it when we uh, get the new one out. But first things first, let's, uh, let's get some tools ready. Here's my 5W30 with the correct uh, spec for the engine. Got 10 quarts because I couldn't get the smaller quarts. So that is what it is. Here is the, the filter that I got. I'll show you what that looks like here. As you can see, it's got no external case. It's just a paper cartridge filter. One thing they've been including is the seal for the uh, exterior of the housing that we're gonna take off to get to the, the old filter and the crush washer for the plug. We got some brake cleaner in case of spills. Got the shop rags, half inch drive with the one inch socket on it. We'll see how well that fits on there. We've also got a 10 millimeter socket to take off the plastic shroud. I got two drip pans. I got one positioned already, another one on standby. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit far apart. And then I've also got a cardboard mat down here that uh, just to catch any extra little drips. So you'll hear me struggling on that and also to keep me off the floor. Let's, uh, let's get to taking the shroud off. Okay, with all those screws removed, let's uh, take this cover off. Hopefully, well, there's one more right here. All right, there's the plate. Set this off to the side. Nice out of the way. Here's our oil pan. Here's our oil drain. Here's our filter cartridge. Let's see if our socket will adapt to this pretty well. And nope, we're uh, we're a scotch off. So a 35 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna use uh, a crescent wrench or see what I got that'll fit this. Okay, so in all the confusion, I forgot to get the 17 millimeter wrench for the actual old drip pan here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Holy torque. Yeah, like I said, uh, I'm in the garage doing this so that I have a semi-level surface. Woo! Um, I was surprised at the quantity of this. Uh, it's like seven and a half quarts, I believe it is. And uh, that's a lot. I mean, it's a V6. I don't think my my Dodge has quite as much, and it's V8. It's a 4.7 liter, and I think this is a three and uh, some. And we are quickly fill, filling up our drip pan. Coming to the end now. Hopefully coming to the end now. So we'll let this drip and we'll get onto the oil filter. Alright, so with the oil almost completely drained out there, let's focus on the oil filter cartridge. Uh, I've got myself in one and one sixteenth inch socket. So I'm gonna tighten and I'll loosen this sucker. So I go lefty loosey. All right. So there is a torque spec on this that they recommend. The manual does not show you how to change the oil. I mean, it's pretty basic. They do say that you should go to the dealers to get the oil changed. But um, there's no reason why we can't just change the oil ourselves. The semi-coarse threading, plastic on plastic, which I actually I absolutely hate. So there we go. We got a little bit of a drip going. I'm gonna let that drip out. So we got simultaneous drips. This uh, this cartridge casing is actually tapered or it's, it's dented down so there is like a little bit of a drip channel in it. All right, with a little bit more turning, we've got our filter cap off and our filter element. 
drain some more of this oil out of here. Come on, you. There she goes. Just a comparison of what came from Kia and what uh, what we got here. Um, there's no real right side to it. It's just paper gasket on one side, paper gasket on the other, and a plastic frame on the inside, as opposed to our our Napa Gold, which is a plastic filter or a rubber filter, rubber filter, and plastic cage on the inside of it. I'll go ahead and screw my drain plug back in. I know Kia is uh, Korean, but I'm going to use German torque specs of good and tight. So I'm looking for the O-ring. There it is there. Just kind of pinch it up, run my fingers around the outside of it, pinch it up, pull it off, get my replacement here. Uh, it rides in this little channel at the end of the threads. So, basically just stretch on down there. Filter element cap here. Put our filter down on there. Um, I know, like I said, it's got a, uh, a torque spec on it, but um, we won't we won't go as good and tight with this one here. We'll just uh, get her on back onto our seats. That's another reason why I don't like plastic on plastic fittings because you see how it jumped around like that? It just um, doesn't really instill the most confidence in your torque settings. Let's uh, we'll slap this cover back on, then we'll go fill up some oil through the top. So what I'm going to do here, I'll take our engine flow cap off. We'll use our big funnel. And uh, we'll just go ahead and start funneling in our, our quartz to about the low setting on the vehicle on the dipstick, which is located right here. Then we'll um, back the vehicle off and we'll be good. And we'll top it off from there. Back. And we're sitting right between them. We should be good. All right, that's it for the 2021 Kia Telluride V6 engine oil change.